He drove fast cars in the movies, and tonight he died in one. Actor Paul Walker of the Fast and Furious franchise killed in a car crash, and he was just 40 years old. We told you about the crash first at 6, and in the hours since, NBC News has confirmed his death with his publicist. The crash happened on Rye Canyon Loop in Valencia, and that is where we find NBC4's Kate Larson. Kate? Kathy, Paul Walker was local. In fact, he was born in Glendale, and we're hearing that he stored a number of his cars at a high-performance auto shop just around the corner from where he crashed this afternoon. And in fact, right now, there are hundreds of people, hundreds of his fans actually here at the crash site, and they're lighting candles now that the scene has broken down, remembering one of their favorite actors. Paul Walker, actor, heartthrob, and car enthusiast, killed this afternoon when he and a friend were going for a ride in a sports car, which crashed into a tree and burst into flames. We responded in and found the vehicle was fully engulfed. It appears that uh, speed might have been a factor. The L.A. County coroner says the two bodies in the car are too badly burnt to identify, but NBC News confirmed with Walker's publicist that he was killed in the crash. Walker's team posted on his Facebook page that they are stunned and saddened beyond belief. We smelled the smoke and then we didn't pay much attention to it because of the fact that this street on Friday and Saturday nights, a lot of the guys come up here with their fast cars and drift around this corner here. He's one of my favorite actors. Daniel took these photos three weeks ago of the car that crashed today, a Porsche Carrera GT that belonged to the owner of Always Evolving Performance Motors, a high-end racing shop located around the corner from the crash. Daniel donated toys to the same charity Paul Walker showed up to help out with this afternoon. Afternoon. This is a guy that I grew up watching his movies. Paul Walker skyrocketed to fame in 1999, co-starring in teen movies Varsity Blues and She's All That. Two years later, he made a name for himself in The Fast and the Furious, playing Brian O'Connor, a Los Angeles police officer involved in the underground street racing world. I just can't believe it. You know, I've been a Fast and Furious fan since 2001. The movie evolved into a $2 billion franchise, one of Universal Studios' largest ever, with seven movies and and a cult following. How can this happen? Because he just released a movie. I was just watching it the other day. And next thing you know, he's gone. Neighbors, fans still paying their respects this evening to Paul Walker. Many of them found out about the tragedy on social media, which has been all a buzz about the unfortunate death. Now, at this moment, we're going to head to the Santa Clarita Sheriff Station right now. And if we have an update about this story, any more information about the crash, we'll, of course, post it online and you can look for it tomorrow on Today in L.A. For now, reporting live in Valencia, Kate Larson, NBC4 News. All right.